Hi there, this is a quick update, audio only, on the leaks we've heard for House of the Dragon Season 2 about the Battle of Rook's Rest. That the main video I'm going to do on the Battle of Rook's Rest leaks will have all the spy photos and everything we got from it. But as even WintersComing.net pointed out, we really didn't see anything that was diverging from the books that much. I mean, they, they're nice to see, but it's just, oh, there's that moment. There's that moment from the books. They, they lined up pretty well. I'm splitting this off because it's the one thing that actually raised a question that wasn't just straight-up book information that's just being confirmed. Of, oh, there's that character doing that thing from the book or anything. It really wasn't that much to go over other than, okay, there's those soldiers from the High Towers and the Stokeworths and, and the Darklands doing stuff. Literally one thing raised a question, despite this big two-week battle scene they did. It was a casting thing. The only question raised was, who is Eddie Iyer playing? And this ties into some other things. I'm keeping this short, just... I'm separating it off to draw attention to it, because it was really the only thing that, that, that sparked discussion. That in the battle, Kristen Cole is leading the ground forces, and we know he's also going with Gwen Hightower, Allison's brother. Now, he wasn't there in the book, but Gwen, who is played by Freddie Fox, they put him in charge of the City Watch as a second-in-command, so, okay, it's an army coming from King's Landing, let's have Gwen go with him. He might have even gone in book canon and just not mentioned it. It's entirely plausible that that, uh, that Gwen Hightower went there. Now, this ties back to weeks ago, back in May, when we found out that Eddie Iyer had been cast, and we saw spy photos of him in Caceres. So we know he's in Caserius, which is a stand-in for King's Landing. Now, in case you don't remember, the excitement then was Eddie Iyer was in Game of Thrones, in which he played Gerald Hightower, one of the Mad King's Kingsguard in the flashbacks to the Tower of Joy, along with Arthur Dane. So he's the one person who was named Hightower who was in the original show. Now, obviously, of course, they cut out that Marjorie and Loris's mother, Allery, is, uh, was born a high tower. She married Mace Tyrell. She's still alive in the books, and they, they cut all that because it's stupid. That I've seen more than one person going, oh, they, they kind of remind me of Marjorie. Yeah, because she's half high tower. But the one guy named High Tower in Game of Thrones itself, Gerald High Tower, you cast in this, and we could tell that he was on the green side because we saw him wearing their gold dragon on a green field sigil. That could mean he's playing a couple of people, like we know a, a character who's a red wine is dressed like that, but still, the assumption is, why would you go to the trouble of recasting someone who is a high tower in the original show? Presumably he's playing another high tower. This is all from weeks ago. That we said... Otto's children, Otto is the younger brother, as you saw. His older brother, that's the main branch of the family. And they named him Hobart in the TV show. He didn't have a name in the books. Now, Hobart died off-screen during the time skips, mid-season. So, by this point in time during the Civil War, the ruler of House Hightower and Old Town is Otto's nephew, Ormond Hightower. And there's a lot of other Hightower cousins and stuff. Ormond has children, but they're just young enough that they don't take part in the war. And there's another one. They say the best knight that they have is Brynden Hightower, who is a cousin. They don't say of what degree. but So the other Hightowers to cast are basically Ormond, who will be leading their main army, plus his right hand, Brynden, his cousin, their best knight. And they'll decide how he's related or anything. So our idea was, okay, presumably Eddie Iyer is either playing Brynden or, or Ormond. The spy photos we saw of Rook's Rest have Eddie Iyer at the battle when Ormond wasn't there. Brynden wasn't there. They're in Old Town. 
So how can he... This is confirmed. We have photos of his face. You can't fake this. That Eddie Iyer, who is presumably playing one of the other high towers, probably a prominent one, is, is at Rook's Rest. Now, it's possible he's playing like an invented character who's um, Gwen's brother. Because they mention that Gwen is Allison's older brother. Presumably there, there's more than one brother. They're just not named. So he could be just some other new high tower who happens to be in King's Landing. The, the off screen, there's there's more than one Otto has more than one son. But as we mentioned months ago, this is just adding context to those earlier spoilers. Ties into the spy photos from Casarius we saw for episode three, the funeral procession that Eddie was around when they were filming that. The running theory is that maybe Ormond and Dayron show up in King's Landing for the funeral to introduce them with their family. Otherwise, it'd be like a separate show that they never interact, that, to visually tie them in for TV viewers that, oh, look, here's Allison interacting with Dayron, here's Otto interacting with Ormond physically. Then in a book, you can say they were communicating with letters. It's harder to do that in a TV show. And I was kind of on the fence, but I said, okay, it's the early phases of the war. The roads aren't closed yet. Maybe they'll come for the funeral, which is in episode three. Rush back to Old Town, because it's not an army. Uh, an individual moves faster than an army. Down a highway when they're clear. And then right after they return to Old Town, the northern half of the Reach revolts, like the Caswells. Because... It didn't all happen at once. It wasn't immediately. That this is still the end phase of the War of Quills and Ravens, as they say. And particularly because we also found out that the Tullys are still mulling what to do by Episode 7. That Daemon is still massing his armies at Harrenhal. There were a few opening moves, like the Blackwoods were crushing the, the, the Brackens to get them on their side the consolidation phases, but the war in earnest, the main phase of, like, the Lannisters entering the Riverlands happens late in the season, that the, the theory is that they there's going to be this big gathering of all the green characters. Also, there's, like, a, someone from House Rain, there's someone from House Estermont, uh, there's a guy who I think is a condensation character of Marston Waters condensed with Vaemon's bastard son, Eddard Waters, they call him. So there's going to be this big thing of everyone will be at the funeral. It's introducing the Greens visually. Then they go back to Old Town. Now, that was already a theory we had. Okay, they're going to introduce them all in Episode 3. Rook's Rest is in Episode 4. So maybe if the theory is true that Ormond is there, maybe he just doesn't leave right away. In which case, why wouldn't Dayron come with them? Maybe for the same reason Helena didn't, that, well, you're, he's got a really young dragon and they didn't want to endanger it. Because Daron, and, and he's growing up, I, I don't know, maybe he went ahead. This raises various questions, but Eddie Iyer's Hightower character is at Rook's Rest. And it won't be too big of a deal if, okay, tying into that other thing of, well, he races back to Old Town after this. But then you have to explain why Dayron wouldn't be there, and other than that they told him not to because he's young and they don't want Maylis to kill him. I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards he might be playing like Allison's younger brother, at, or, 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 or something as a condensation, but then he doesn't look as old as Freddy. That is the big question that was raised by all of these spy photos. Who is Eddie Iyer playing? Because other than that, while they're cool things, I'm sorry I was so backlogged with all the other stuff. I didn't, uh, like the clickbait channels would report on every single photo as if it was news. And it's like, I know who this character dying is. It's not news to everyone. I'd rather wait and have one big consolidation video going over all the spy photos. But I like that Ethan Winter is coming out net said in their summary of it. These photos are jaw-droppingly clear spy photos, but it's just, and here's some guys fighting. We know what a battle looks like. In terms of story spoilers, we got a shitload more stuff out of the Caceres shoot of this is this invented sequence of a funeral and food riots. There was a lot to pick apart. 
In this, it's purely who is Eddie Iyer playing? He's on the High Tower side. He played a High Tower in Game of Thrones. This raises some questions. And we might be making a mountain out of a molehill. He might just be some other High Tower cousin or Otto's other son. There's there's more than one of them. We don't know. So I'm splitting this off in the main video just to give it some more focus because it's really the only question that was raised from this big filming sequence. I will be making a follow-up going over all the photos and stuff just for fun, which won't really be like a giant one-hour bonanza, just going over, yes, these are really good spy photos we got. I'm going to do that after this, and that'll take more editing. It won't just be audio only. And I'll put that together for tomorrow.